I'm writing the script for this video, this has just happened. I was sitting in my social studies class writing a different script, and this was when I had free time. I had finished all my work. So, yeah. When someone named, for this, let's call him Steve Warnock, texted me and he said, Is this THE Sam? And so I responded appropriately for what has just happened and said, Who is this? Because I was thinking this was some kid behind me in class that was looking at my phone and somehow got my number. And he goes, Steve. And so I'm thinking, wow, that just clears everything up. Enough said. So I say, from where? I know many Steves. And he says, Warnock. Ah, Pennsylvania. And all of a sudden it just comes rushing back to me. It just clicks. I remember Steve. He was, he was the friend that had the giant secret base in his basement made out of shelving racks. I was ecstatic. I was like, oh. And so for a little while, we just talked back and forth. Stuff like, how's life been in Texas? Oh, good. How's life been in Pennsylvania? Good. You know, the normal stuff. But then I started to think, how in the chicken frittatas did this guy get my number? I don't even think I had a phone when I was in Pennsylvania. Has this kid been stalking me? And so I asked him how he got my number, and he goes, I was clearing my numbers out and I found you. And so I'm just sitting here trying to figure this out, and I think I finally have. So back in Pennsylvania, my sister and I shared an iPhone 4S, like top-of-the-line stuff for the year that I lived that year. I don't know, what year was that? And that phone we would both use for our friends and playing games, but we would share it. So our contacts from that in that phone would be all kind of jumbled up and such. And I think when I got my first unshared phone here in Texas, my dad just used that SIM card for it. At, at least I think that's what happened. I'm not sure. But back to what this video is actually all about, because kind of getting off track. So then we go back to, what's the weather like where you are? You know, the default stuff that everyone talks about. And then I had to go because class was starting. Ugh, gets in the way of everything, doesn't it? But real quick, I just want to talk about what this meant to me, because this was like the first contact I had with Pennsylvania for about six years. That's a lot. This was like a slice of my childhood that had just been served to me on a platter. It was a nice blast from the past, and I really enjoyed talking to him. I hope I can do it again sometime. And who knows? Maybe, just maybe, some of my other friends from Pennsylvania will text or call me. Hmm.